our send crypto workflow looks complete, but actually this particular workflow can be a part of something even bigger. Imagine a use case when a user wants to buy some crypto for fiat money. This can be another workflow, buy crypto workflow, where we wait for user payment to our bank account and once we receive the payment, we can start our send crypto workflow where address from is our internal wallet address and address to can be a user address. Okay, we need a new workflow. We can put it into its own namespace, buy crypto for fiat and the workflow with the same name. What's inside? As always, we add annotations, workflow interface, a method by crypto with annotation workflow method. I think we need fiat payments activity where we will store statuses of fiat payments. Let's create it. Hide the project, add annotation, activity interface, The first method initialize. It accepts amount, currency and user ID. In response, let's assume that it returns a payment ID. Done, now we move back to our workflow. First of all, add a constructor and initialize the activity. Workflow New Activity Stop, provide a class and activity options. Let's declare this property and add type hints, a class and activity proxy. Then the first step we initialize the payment. It means that our workflow needs to accept the same arguments amount, currency and user ID. Payment ID equals then we call activity with these arguments amount, currency, user ID and yield. Ok, the payment is initialized. Then somehow we need to know that this payment was completed, that we have actually received money. Often such things are done with webhook. Some external payment provider has our URL and once the payment is completed, this payments provider triggers our URL. Then once we receive the webhook, we need to send it to our workflow. Moreover, we need to wait inside the workflow for this webhook. Ok, inside the workflow we can add a boolean variable is payment confirmed. Then, after we have received payment ID, we need to wait for a webhook. To wait for some condition in the workflow, we use method workflow await. It accepts a list of callables or promises. Here the workflow stops and waits till any of the conditions is met. In our case, we need to wait till payment is confirmed property is set to true. And don't forget yield. Remember that previously in our send crypto workflow, we have already used the same logic with await with timeout method, where we waited either for timer or condition. This is how we can wait for some conditional within a workflow.